You what? It's raining on Rimworld in the rainforest. No way. It actually is though. No word of a lie. It is pouring down. Um, and we have an elephant. How great is that? Um, that that is brilliant. We're t proper like turning it into like a, like London Zoo, London Zoo or something like right now. Um, we've got like pretty much every kind of animal going. Let's have a look. We've got some wild boar. We've got alpaca. We've got a panther. We've got a boomalope, grizzly bear, and an elephant. So as soon as we've built the ark, people, we're gonna set sail. It's gonna rain for forty days and forty nights. I think that's what it did. I don't know. My my knowledge of the Ark is basically two by two. And that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah. We're just waiting for these guys to wake up. Blue Tricks is already awake. He's like, yeah, do you know what? Like, let's have this. I don't even know where he is. What's he doing? What are you doing? Uh, butchering. You're butchering the wild boar. This was wild boar five who died due to an infection in his neck. Poor wild boar. And bless his cotton little socks. If boars actually wore socks, which I don't, I'm pretty sure. Any kind of documentary that I've watched that involves boars, which is probably like, not even one. But I'm, I'm fairly certain that boars don't wear socks. If they do, and I'm totally wrong, please feel free to correct me. But as far as I know, boars do not wear socks. Um, right, so what we're going to do, we're just going to um, knock Blue Tricks down a touch on the research because, um, yeah. Though saying that, we can't we can't really knock him down. It's, it's pretty much like the last thing he does anyway. Um, well, maybe notch his crafting up a tad. Um, that could always be knocked up a little bit. So we will do that to we'll go crafting as three. And then that way, sort of like, it'll make stone blocks and stuff before... If we get some stone blocks, that's a stone cutter's table. Um, we have 330 slate and 224 sandstone. So we could always um, get some more blocks hauled in. So we're probably going to build, um, probably going to build Mowgli's off taming Boomalope again. Mowgli's like, Do you know what? We haven't got enough explosive creatures. We need more. Mowgli, I kind of agree with you. Um, so what we're going to do. Yeah, probably going to build walls out of sandstone and then our actual buildings out of slate. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. So if we just uh, get these hauled over, then we can start putting a wall down. Because, you know, that's the type of thing that everybody needs in Rimworld. It's a big, massive wall around the place. There's a, a migration of Ibex. They're passing through the area. Apparently, they won't attack unless provoked, so... Whatever you do, guys, don't don't provoke them. There's quite a few there, isn't there? There is... It doesn't even say. It doesn't even say how many there is. I think maybe because they're different sexes, possibly. A doe and a ram. That's exactly the reason why. That's the reason why we're getting various, because... There's various different sexes and there's not a difference between them. Whereas I think stuff like the cassowary, the lesser known cassowary, um, I don't think there's any differences. Oh, we do have these um, ship chunks, don't we? Still up here, ready to be deconstructed at some point. Um, that's where I imagine we're going to get some more components and stuff from. We do have a spare lung and a little bit of yayo lying around. So, as and when... Ah, uh, okay, right, that is blocked by the roof. I was wondering why I was getting no power in there. I'm glad I spotted that. Right, let's bring that up. Just so that we know where to remove the roof. Remove it all the way up until here. Uh, we'll delete the stockpile up to here as well. Then that way stuff won't get stored in there. And we shouldn't be blocking the, the wind turbine anymore. We should be able to get some power back. What are we researching at the moment? Long blades. Did we? We've already done solar panels. I think. Yeah, we have. That's cool. Right, turrets. Turrets is a little way off. Turrets is a little way off. 
Uh, oh, carpet making. We're researching carpet making, apparently. The carpet making, and then we'll go gun turrets along the next line. So it means we have to do gunsmithing and then blowback operation and then gun turrets. And then we'll have some nice little shooty things dotted around the base, providing a little bit of protection. All right, research finished carpet making. Ammon, you absolute research beast. You are on research of 17 still. So you, you're coming up to 18. You've researched your 4,000 for the day. I'm right, just removing the roof there again. There we go. Wind turbine and back in business. It's actually blowing quite a gale. And it's still raining. I'm not sure. It might have stopped, but I didn't take any notice. But I, I have noticed that it's still definitely raining. Uh, Law started a social fight with Ammon. Reason insulted. Ammon, why are you... Why are you insulting Law? What's what's the reason for that? Right, they've given up. They've they've just given up fighting each other now, which is good because um, it means peace and harmony within the colony again. Uh, Mowgli, what? Why are you saying hello? You had a nice chat with Ammon. Oh, just as he just as he ran past. Uh, Law, what's your um? Okay, so. You haven't got any chats which make uh, any chats. You haven't got any traits which make you hate men. But there, there shouldn't have been any reason why Ammon insulted you. Had a nice chat with Mowgli. Had a deep chat with Mowgli. See, look, this before he was having nice chats with Law. A really nice chat, nice chat, nice chat, nice chat, and then just no. I've had enough. I'm not about the nice chats anymore. I hate you. And then Law was like, Do you know what? I've had enough as well. Let's just have a fight, put them up. And they did. So we finished the carpet making research, uh, which now means that we should have, uh, yeah, many, many floors and carpets available to put down. Spruce the place up, make it look a little bit brighter. Bacon is pregnant with baby bacon. Ooh, how good does baby bacon sound right now? A baby bacon sandwich. Alright, alpacas. Wall growth 30, and wall growth 35. We should be able to make some pretty decent dusters, I think, which will, like I say, protect us against, like, heat waves and stuff. Oh, we've got, um, plenty of meals as well at the moment. We've got, like, 18. That'll last us for quite a while. Got a load of chem fuel, too. We could at some point then, we could get a chem fuel generator up and just sort of give ourselves a little bit of extra power that way. Um, this is our kitchen room. Um, we've got a little tiny table in there at the minute. And then this is our butchering room where we've set up a temporary sort of um, tailoring bench. Just so we can make some clothes, just so nobody will be naked. Uh, Mowgli tamed the capybara, the little, the little, what, tiny, the little tiny bear. I'm fully aware a capybara is not a little tiny bear, but it might as well be. Do you know what I'm saying? Might as well be a little tiny bear. Oh, the boar's just chomping down on some grass. All right, how many blocks have we got now? 284. Lord, are you dumping them on the floor? Please tell me you are. All right, just drop on floor. We just drop... Drop them all on the floor, and then the animals can haul them over. I will haul all of these blocks. Then we'll just uh, get the last couple there too. Don't really need any other buildings just for the minute. They're not really pressing. Um, I would rather probably get like a wall up, um, just so we can't really be raided much. I say not much, but it's going to be sort of... If we can funnel them in somewhere, just wall off a big section, funnel them in, and uh, they should be a little bit easier to deal with. Some rotting bodies. Got Brynjolf and Magliacetti. What a fantastic Italian accent that was. Mowgli loves his hoopstone, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure that Mowgli is the probably the laziest person in the world. Although so would you be, wouldn't you, if you was in a jungle, like a tropical rainforest, tropical jungle, and you was hanging out with a, a panther and a bear, 
pretty sure you would be a little bit lazy as well. I know I would. It's like Baloo says, forget about your worries and your strife. Just chill out and have fun. I don't know if that was exactly Baloo's words, but close enough. Close enough. Uh, all these orange trees are like 66% grown. They're not anywhere near uh, being done. I think we probably harvested them all at the same time. Yeah, 63, six, uh, 86 that one. 62. Yeah, okay. So they're not going to provide us with any food for the minute. Um, we do have... Uh, our meals have, have gone up. They were on about sort of 18, 19. We've now got 25. So plenty of those around. Um, Mowgli, what are you up to? You're training Elephant 1. Let's have a look and see how Elephant 1's progress is getting on. Uh, trained Obedience. Nice one, Mowgli. I right, do want to set... Um, that reminds me. Baloo and Bagheera being set back to Mowgli. Um, just for the minute. Just because if we do get raided, we can uh, release them. Or Mowgli can release them anyway. Oh, getting plenty of food in. Plenty of food. Okay, so what we can probably do, we can probably put like a couple of the wild boars back on hall training. Just sort of uh, focus on a couple of them at the moment. We'll focus on, we'll do three of them. So we'll do these three, wild boar three, bacon and wild boar two. And if we get, I think the, if we get the other wild boar trained up on release, um, I won't do the boom lobe just yet. Right, how much uh, cloth are we getting in? 1,000 odd. So what we can do, or what we could do, is we could go... Should we go jade, maybe? Jade for the kitchen? Go jade for the kitchen. Right, go to there. We'll go here, and then we'll go there as well. Uh, research finished gunsmithing, so Ammon is uh, definitely progressing with that research. And then we'll go, what should we do for the, oh, Wild Boar's been attacked by a Cobra, Wild Boar 8 has been bitten to death. Where was that? That was very, very close. The Cobra is 12, the Cobra has a DPS of 2.5, movement speed of 4.84. Are you kidding me? Right, let's get everyone out. Everyone can attack the Cobra. Oh, shot blue tricks. Let's have a... Right, I'm going to go back to researching. Let's have a quick check of what happened. So, the Cobra threw himself to the ground. Mowgli's recurve bow arrow missing by a wide margin. Blue tricks quickly fired his recurve bow at the Cobra. Blue tricks recurve bow arrow hit the Cobra. Cobra drops thanks to a stab wound in the body. Uh, his left eye was bitten out. It doesn't. It doesn't say how. It may have been from the boar, um, but he has a stab wound to the body and will die within twenty four hours. Um, so that was that was a very good shot. A very good shot. Right now that we have all these animals, we we definitely need to keep them. We we need like a barn uh, or something. Um, although I did say, didn't I, that. We had, I think in the last episode, I'm pretty sure it was, the animal area um, is literally just around the uh, around the outside of the growing zones and, um, and the buildings. And that's purely because if we can get them to chomp up the grass, like around here, it's going to prevent fire, which I thought was actually quite a good idea. I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was quite a good idea. Um, so we'll see how that gets on. There is another cobra. No, it's not. It's the same cobra. But that cobra is going to die soon. It's, it's just fallen over again. He went and had to chunk of the rat. Took out the rat and then was like, Do you know what? No, this is it. That's about enough effort for me today. <laughs> the rat is dead. He's had a little bite of it. And now he's just, um, just laying down on the floor again. Right, let's get um, some more carpet. So I think for... Should we go mahogany for the butchering room? Just because it's um, a butchering room. Right, and, and red is blood. We won't see it as much, I don't think. If we go red for there. And then we'll see how much we've got left. If we've got plenty left, then we'll... Um, yeah, then we'll 
sort of stick some in here, just in the freezer. We'll go sky blue, I think, for the freezer. All right, excellent. Looking nice and pretty, I think. Oh, what is that? Got a dry thunderstorm. This is what we need to watch out for. Uh, break down wind turbine. The wind turbine is broken down. We do have some components. We've got a few components there. Mowgli's already off to repair it. Mowgli's like, don't worry, guys. It's sorted. Didn't even need to ask. This looks nice and Christmassy, I think. The red and the green. Quite a bit of hill route as well, which I just noticed. Plenty of smoke leaf leaves as well. Should be able to sell those at some point. We've got like 623 in there. But we probably do need to uh, trade those away for something. Um, Why are the animals going inside? Animals, animals, animals. You shouldn't be in there. Definitely shouldn't be in there, although I do want you guys following Mowgli around, so that may have been why. Alright, Tame failed 15% chance. I don't know whether or not we should just like leave the other should we leave the other boomalope alone? We don't we don't need another one. Uh, th although that's a male. What was our one? Our one is a female. Okay, we will then. We will, just so we can have some baby boomalope. Alright, Law's making some stone blocks still. We've got 444 of those. We can probably start closing up some areas. This is a sandstone wall, so what we'll do, we'll claim that. Orders will claim just there. And then if we extend that, we'll go sandstone blocks and we'll just extend it just over there. 80, 80 of our finest sandstone blocks to, uh, to, to pin that area off. A couple of steam geysers around as well. We've got one here and one here. Definitely got a couple at least. There's another one down here too. I don't know if we're going to utilise that one. Might do at some point. Maybe just once we've like, sort of like built a wall and sort of enclosed ourselves in. To a fair amount anyway. My right, Laura's going and sitting down. Um, I might get our guys on two for cleaning. Yeah, if we get them on two for cleaning, and then at least that way, Law and Mowgli should uh, tidy the place up. As and when they can. There's nothing worse for me in RimWorld than a dirty room. So Law, you are the absolute best. And now, Law is now my favourite colonist because she's gone around and just like totally totally clean the place. It looks so good. Uh, gun turrets is next, I think. So, uh, let's have a quick look at the research. Yeah, we're researching gun turrets now, so that's come about quite quickly, and that's purely and utterly due to the fact that Ammon is so ridiculously good at research. And that's all he does as well. That is his only job. Just sat there like, do you know what, guys? you want something researched, I'll do it instantly for you. Or more or less instantly, anyway. Alright, what have we got in here? We've got some rat leather and some pig skin. We do have some grenades as well, and some molotovs, actually. I did, totally didn't realise that. Oh, I don't really like using them. In Rimworld. Right, structure. Can we can we build over there? We cannot build over there. Um, right. What can we do? Can't build there, can't build there. We build across here. It looks as though we can. Um, can't build there, but we can build one down. That's the only thing about... Right, okay, hold on. Manhunter pack. There is a manhunter pack, and it is a pack of manhunting snow hares. 
Snow hares in the tropical jungle. There's quite a lot of them as well. There's quite a few of these bad boys. Right, how many animals do we have trained on release? We have a few. Okay, let's do this. Bam, like that. And then release the animals. It's our animals versus the snow hares. Right, Bagheera's chasing one around. He's got it in his sights. He's gonna, is he going to do it? Bagheera and the boar. Yes. And it's down. Oh, these snow hares, eh? You've come to the wrong biome. You have come to the wrong biome. Right, I think there's only one left. Pretty sure there's only one left. Oh, snow hare taking a bite out of Bagheera. Here we go. No worries. They're all down, sorted. And crisis is over. Right, now that that crisis is over, now that we've dealt with that pretty efficiently, it is time to end the episode. So, they've all gone to bed. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a like on the video, uh, comment, and even subscribe as well. If you don't, as always, I will bite your face off. And we'll see you in the next episode. So, ciao for now.